Hi Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your general reading for April 2024. As always, you only take what is resonating specifically for you and you leave what isn't yours for someone else, okay? Right, so let's get into this then and we are going to pull a rune of the month for you guys. Well... <laughs> Funnily enough, Sag, you don't actually have a rune. Um, you've got the energy of Midgard, the pulse of the living and the present. So this is the realm where all the humans lived, okay? Uh, and in this deck, it's all about living in the present moment, all right? So with this one, it's all about not thinking too far back in the past because it could bring up feelings of hurt and resentment, okay, and try not to be too concerned with what may or may not happen in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, so you can cross that bridge when you get to it, okay. Living in the present moment, staying grounded as well, very, very important that you stay grounded throughout the month of April. Right, so let's pull some more cards and see what is going on for you guys what's going on for sagittarius please i am trying to make these reads a little bit quicker because i do understand that not everybody likes the long format readings um so i'll try and go as quick as i can but if we go over 30 minutes i can only apologize okay um, sometimes it just is what it is. Right, so you've got the corset, confidence, vanity and security. The corset. Um, I'm getting the message, Sarge, of you're going to be placing necessary restrictions on yourself throughout the month of April. This could be you restricting your um, emotions so that things don't get out of hand, they don't get out of control, or this could be you restricting your spending. It could be, okay? Again, it's going to be different for all of you. Just take what resonates only for you. You have to use your discernment in general reads. And then you've got the stranger, which is mystery, chances, and the unknown, and the horseshoe. That's that's really interesting. The stranger who is on a horse, and then the horseshoe, which is luck, peace, happiness. At the bottom of the deck is the teacup. There's replenishment, contentment, possibilities. You could be getting together with friends. You could be uh, feeling more sociable throughout the month of April, uh, getting more invitations to go places with people. Very, very possible. Um, hmm, okay, start pulling more cards and we'll find out. Okay, let's have a look. What's going on for Sarge, please? What's going on for Sarge? Okay. The hills, obstacles to overcome, to go with your corset energy. Okay. Um, it's possible that for a small handful of you, she could be dealing with an individual who's very vain and who is putting a lot of obstacles in your path at this point in time. Someone who's trying to make things difficult for you um, and trying to put restrictions on you. Okay. Now, again, be careful with this energy, okay, as I've already mentioned, because it's a general read. This could be someone external to you. This could always be you doing this to yourself subconsciously as well, okay. Um, then basically, Saj, there needs to be a balance with everything, okay. While on the one hand, uh, putting restrictions on yourself in certain circumstances is a very good thing to do, but... I mean, in other circumstances, you're going to have to be more free and more flexible, okay? I'm, j I'm just imagining here someone trying to climb up a big hill or a mountain and they've got a bloody tight corset on, <laughs> you know? Um, corsets are going to restrict your breathing and it's like you need as much oxygen as you can to climb up that hill or up that mountain because, you know, especially if it is like a really tall mountain. Obviously, this is a metaphor. And don't try and go hill walking with a corset on. That that would be um, silly. Um, but yeah, the, the air quality at the top of big mountains is really, really thin. Do you know what I mean? So it's like I'm getting the energy of impossibility here. 
Um, you, you could be trying to undertake something that feels really, really impossible. And it's you, you could be making the situation worse for yourself, Sag, by putting far too many restrictions on yourself. Um, you know, th th there needs to be a bit of leniency here that, that you give yourself. But again, for a small group of you, this could be an individual outside of you, like I've already said, who is watching you struggle watching you trying to overcome something or achieve something and they're putting more problems on your plate do you know what i mean so as far as a metaphor goes i do feel that that's a pretty powerful one okay that there's a time and a place for everything isn't there there's a time and a place to metaphorically wear a corset and then there's a time and a place for you to take that off so that you can really breathe better Okay, um, we, we're going to find out because we're going to clarify all of this in a minute anyway with the tarot. Okay, so we will take a deeper dive into this energy. We've just got to get the surface level stuff out first so we know what it is that we're dealing with. Okay, tower reading, it is a process. It requires patience to go deeper each level. Right, so for your stranger, you've got the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So the unicorn energy, again, I mean, something here about the horse symbology for you uh, throughout the month of April, Sag, is going to be quite relevant and quite important. So let's let's get to the, the horse symbology. Um, that's power, it's determination, um, it's strength also. Okay, so I do feel that what Spirit's telling you guys to do is to persevere, all right? Even in the face of difficulties, um, obstacles, persevere, right? Um, definitely, yes, do tap into your intuition. It feels like you are going to have to make some risky moves or take some chances on something here and spirit saying it's going to be worth it and also there's a message about your uniqueness with that being a unicorn and your own individuality okay so don't don't follow the leader all right you are the leader with whatever this is don't follow the leader don't be one of the sheep remember your own um individuality Try not to fear the unknown as well, Sagittarius, but you're being asked to lean into the mystery, okay, rather than being afraid of the mystery. Um, it feels like a bit of a strange thing to say to a Sagittarius collective, um, but yeah, you are, you are being asked to um, take that calculated risk, okay? And then you've got the wind chimes to clarify the horseshoe, which is peace and harmony, yeah. Um, interesting way that they've illustrated this because you've got autumn leaves that are falling around the, the wind chimes. So your autumn leaves would be a metaphor for releasing something or surrendering something, recognizing that there's no such thing as, um, a, a, as a wasted, opportunity okay it's basically everything that you have gone through in your life up until this point it has served a purpose it has been of a benefit even if it was something uh, you know quite awful um that th there was still something within that experience that made you the person that you are today okay is a reminder that there's no such thing as a wasted experience so for you to get peace and harmony to clarify luck, peace and happiness. I think that that speaks volumes for you guys. It genuinely does. So finding that inner sense of peace. Um, you've also got good luck and fortune that's on your side here as well, Sag. So you might well find that this month um, it turns out to be quite a lucky one for you guys. And then for the teacup, you've got handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Yeah. Um, meeting an individual throughout this month that is going to be pivotal to something that you're going to, that, that you're trying to achieve here. Now, the thing that you're trying to achieve, it could be anything. It could be a business idea. It could be 
something to do with your long-term goals, your long-term future plans. It could be something to do with um, finding a romantic partner. Okay, if if you're currently single and looking, it's indicating that you are going to be meeting someone this month who is going to be pivotal to whatever this is that you're trying to achieve. Okay. Okay, can you clarify this energy for our Sagittarius Collective, please? Okay, what's going on with these um, restrictions for Sag, please? What's going on with these restrictions around Sag, please? The Six of Cups. So the restrictions that are being placed on you or that you're placing on yourself is something to do with your past, your childhood, your memories. Um, it could be fear of you repeating the same mistake that, that you made many, many years ago. Okay, that there could have been something really quite bad that happened here. Uh, that you maybe feel responsible for and, you know, trying to avoid repeating those same past mistakes. Um, th th this could also be a message about rose-tinted glasses, you know, romanticizing someone from the past or romanticizing something from the past and not really looking at it from a, fr from a more of a level-headed uh, standpoint, okay? Um, so, so that could be quite restrictive as well. Can you tell us about these obstacles? Thank you. The Nine of Cups. Your happiness. Your happiness, your wish fulfillment is literally the cat that's got the cream. That, that is an obstacle. The Two of Coins. The, the, the need to remain balanced and focused. Okay, so... There's this feeling that this going on here, Sag, that it's like you're not allowing yourself to be happy or you're not giving yourself permission to be happy out of a fear of something perhaps being taken away from you. I need to clarify this because <clears throat> this could also be that maybe someone else has got an issue with you being happy, which obviously that, that would be a huge problem because no one else has got the right to destroy someone else's happiness. Like that, that's just a non-starter. Can you clarify this? Obstacles in the Nine of Cups. What do you mean by the, thank you, King of Cups? Okay, someone is um, concerned that they'll never find love or peace or something like that. Someone's concerned that they'll never find a partner, that they'll never get married, okay? And that's a bit of an obstacle. So we've got the energy of a Sagittarius or someone who is interested in you, Sag, because this can always be in reverse, um, worried that they will never be happy, that they'll never get married. Um, and, and then basically making out that the past were easier times. Okay, so it's, it's dangerous thinking, basically. That's what's going on with this energy. The world in reverse, yeah. Yeah, someone's not made peace with something here, Sag. Could be you, could be another individual that you're dealing with, as I said. Um, you, if, if this is reversed, then this is literally someone is refusing to let you go. Okay, Sag. Um... Or if this is like the other way around, then this could be you deeply, deeply afraid that, that you're forever going to be alone. All right. So again, take it as it resonates. I do suspect that this is someone else who is romanticizing the past with you. Okay. You know, just choosing choosing to ignore all of the problems that, that existed and, you know, try, trying to win you back, trying to win back your affection. I feel that that's what's actually going on here with this energy. Can you clarify the stranger for Sag, please? Thank you. The Three of Swords, yeah. Hurt, pain, grief. So, someone's trying to move forward while they're hurting, 
while they're grieving the loss seven of cups a house of cards uh, someone's feeling incredibly fragile here probably not knowing how to move forward without you can you clarify thank you yeah, ten of coins and the knight of cups, exactly, and the ace of coins at the bottom of the deck. So this does feel like this is in regards to a situation that you've already put behind you, or a person that you've already put behind you here, Sarge. Um, it's showing that with their energy, I mean, oh, I, I don't know, oh... I wish I knew exactly who this person was, Saj, so I could speak to them for you. Um, they, they need to move on. Okay. I, I don't know how else to put that. All right. Someone definitely needs to move on. They, they, they need to give you the freedom that you need so that you can take a chance, take a risk with someone new. I feel that this is an individual who constantly is coming at you with all of their problems and they're just not giving you space to breathe. Ten of, ten of coins and the knight of cups. Yeah, it's like they're, they're trying to offer you something here, Saj, but they're not really in the position to be offering anybody anything. Do you know what I mean? It's like they're, they're offering home, family, security. They're offering long term. It, it does feel like a romantic offering here. It does, the, but it's coming from an individual who shouldn't be making promises or offers to anybody. So you are going to have to use your intuition here, Sarge. This feels like rebound energy. You could be on the rebound or this person could be trying to use you as a rebound. Either way, whatever way that this is resonating doesn't make a difference really at this point because it's still unhealthy, okay? It's still unhealthy. Who, whoever is doing this rebound thing. Can you clarify the horseshoe and the wind chimes for Saj, please? Clarify the horseshoe and the wind chimes. Thank you. Page of Swords. Dig deeper. Do some investigative work here, Saj. Okay. Ask the right questions to this person as well. Um, your Page of Swords is the card of the investigator, is the card of the detective. And yes, I do definitely feel that this individual is currently watching you, keeping tabs on you, probably trying to find out if, if you're happy, how you're doing. You've got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be the Divine Masculine Energy or you could be dealing with Divine Masculine Energy. I feel that actually, Saj, you've got multiple people here who's watching you, okay? Um, we cannot escape from the fact that you've got this X-type energy around you who is doing everything that they can to try and convince you to go back to them. It doesn't feel like that's a good idea. And you've also got this Emperor-type energy, this Divine Masculine energy, who is watching you and is wanting to create a lifestyle that is full of uh, peace, harmony and happiness with you. Okay, now you could be dealing with any of the four fixed signs. Um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus or an Aries. And I'm also getting Aquarius energy super, super strong as well okay so again that zodiac information is not going to be beneficial for absolutely everybody okay it's, it's more to do with the energy anyway rather than the, the zodiacs okay can you clarify this teacup please it's very possible that you could be oh you could be meeting your life partner the, this month sagittarius so we've seen the emperor now we've seen the Empress energy coming out to clarify the teacup and the handshake. Literally, as I was giving you that channeled message about how some of you are going to be meeting your life partner through the month of April. And then you've got the Two of Swords. So Spirit's saying, avoid meeting this with suspicion. It is a gift from the universe for you. Yes, the, the Seven of Wands. I love it. Um... 
It's you standing out from the crowd. It's it's there's something very unique about you here, Sag, and you have caught the eye, or you very soon will catch the eye of your your life partner. Okay, um, spirit saying for you to take take a chance on this connection, and it might be wise for you to um, end. A repeating cycle that, that you're currently involved in with someone else from your past okay it doesn't look like the the situation with the ex person is gonna go anywhere that that is a healthy destination okay it, it, it doesn't feel that way at all and if this is you um, really trying to hold on to someone else when that situation is not working, then Spirit's encouraging for you to surrender that and almost straight away, you're going to be meeting the one that you're supposed to be with. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, def definitely make sure that there isn't any sort of rebound energy that is going on because I am picking that up strongly for some of you. Okay, can we have a healing message? for our Sagittarius Collective, please. We have a healing message for Sag. Okay. Full moon in Pisces, forgive. Okay. So, I always roll my eyes whenever I see that, <laughs> forgive. Um, okay, the, the, there's a lot of misinformation out there about what forgiveness is, okay. Um, it's really simple, Sarge. Really simple. You forgive yourself for not knowing any better at the time. Full stop. End of. Period. You forgive yourself for not knowing any better at the time. Okay? Nothing else to it. Nothing else to it. It's not about other people. It's not about forgive for yourself. Yada, yada, yada. No. No, no, no. You forgive yourself for having made decisions in the past that ended up backfiring on you. How were you to know any different? But now that you know different, you can do different. Okay? Full moon energy. Very, very potent. That is all about a time of harvesting the intentions and wishes that you put out prior, okay? Film moons, they're all about healing, purging, releasing, seeing the results coming in, okay? Being grateful for, towards yourself and for the journey that you have already traveled thus far, okay? Full moon energy is incredibly amplifying and creative. So this is a potent turning point in your life right now, Sag. okay? Very, very potent. What else for Sag, please? What else for Sag? They're saying, make room for any grief that you're feeling. So I, I don't know specifically what that's about or who that's aimed at, but it's for someone. Okay, and then another healing message of yours. It says your spirit guide can lead you, but cannot do it for you. So you're going to have to help out yourself here as well, Sarge, okay? They're saying that you are being spiritually um, guided and protected, but there's only so much that your spirit guides can do for you. You're going to have to help them out also, okay? Obviously, your spirit guides can't do things for you they can only lead you in the right direction and then whether or not you follow through with that is completely your your own choice okay and then a spiritual hug so sagittarius you are receiving a spiritual hug right here it's beautiful 
Okay, and then for your final deck, obviously this is one of the cheeky, sarcastic swearing decks. So if you're not into swearing or sarcasm, then you don't have to listen, okay? Also, with this one, do not take any lifestyle advice from this deck because it's just meant as a bit of fun. It's just meant in jest, okay? Right, what else is Sag? Okay. Oh, you got to. I'm allowed to have everything I want, even useless stuff like a rock tumbler. And my soul radiates warmth. It nicely offsets my cold heart. <laughs> so that is your reading for today, Sag. Thank you so very much for joining me. I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful. They were really sarcastic messages, by the way. Um, but yeah, if you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I absolutely love and appreciate every, every single one of you. And I can only hope that I uh, have done you justice with a good read. Okay, right. So yeah, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.